I use the right context. Just look around all these spiffy motherfucker, motherfucker people that that decided to come to Broken Play dressed to impress. Man, this, this is the new standard right here for these sports shows, man. <laughs> sports show gotta start waking up. Oh man, it feels good to be back. We ate, man. We here. Yeah. We got a few comments we need to read out. Jarek Lewis. Said, Nav, you need a segment called Garbage Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> and, brother, you are totally correct. <laughs> Even though you spelled garbage wrong, he spelled it G-A-R-B-A-G-E. It's garbage. <laughs> we spell that G-A-W-B-A-G-E. Garbage. Somebody said, I got the app on my TVs at home, but I just downloaded the Channel 85 app on my phone to leave a comment. This show is definitely a hit. Man, shout out to him, man, for watching it on the app. Yes, sir. Get it early. Yeah, and I can't express this enough, man. The the thing about the app, you know, it's a black-owned company, 85 South of this. But YouTube, like, at the end of the day, sometimes they, we done seen it already. What, week two, they took a video down because we had a clip in there. They might not like, we, we used a boxing clip one week on the app. We could put whatever we want to put on there, and they can't do nothing, and they can't take it down. Facts. So if you want to support, man, make sure you get the app. It's, it's plenty of stuff on that live show. I don't know what you're watching this on now. If you're watching on YouTube, get the app. If you're watching it on the app, watch it on YouTube, too, so we get the views. It works hand in hand. There you go with that walkie-talkie again, Marco. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Turn it down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga job is not that difficult to have a walkie talkie, bro. I don't do I don't do what Marco do, but I know I wouldn't need a walkie talkie to say, hey, turn to the right. You just gotta know it, Marco. <laughs> Justin said, can we, can we? I like the fact the nigga said, can we? Can we get Shannon Sharp on the show? He's a free agent now. And and Justin, that, that that would be good to get him on the show, but I think he deserves his own show. You know, and I don't want a nigga to get fired from one job and feel like he could come. You know what I mean? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but that's on Fox Sports. They finna take that shit off, too. Like, it's gonna be this good. He gonna have to find somewhere for it to live. And, nigga, I'm not trying to, you know, tamper with nobody. But nigga, come to Channel 85. Yeah. <laughs> and you can talk all your shit you want to, Shannon Sharp. Like me. You can turn that shit up or not. You can drink your yak on the show. Do what you want to do. Skip Bayless, now nah, he in trouble. Because that's what a lot of people were watching that because of Shannon Sharp. Yeah, for sure. I don't know who they going to get to replace Shannon Sharp, but it's going to be hard. Look. Byron Brown, well, since Shannon and Skip are no longer a show, Broken Play has moved into my number one sports talk show. Ooh. <laughs> so niggas had to break up for you to see the beauty of love. <laughs> I don't like to wish, uh, you know, downfall on people. That's just like when KD got hurt against the rap. It's like... Oh, the Raptors win the one that if KD. I don't want that kind of blemish on me, nigga. Yeah. We're going to win because we're going to win. <laughs> we're going to be number one. As a matter of fact, I want them niggas to stay together. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see. <laughs> what wrong with these niggas, man? <laughs> I, I be seeing comments on my own, too. One, somebody said the other day, they was like, man, your show is great. 
if you could just stop saying the N word and so much MF. And I said, this motherfucking nigga need to shut his fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I said. <laughs> nigga, that's why I got my own shit so I can say the motherfucking nigga shit that I want to say. I'm talking like they talk in the barbershop, nigga. And if you don't like it, don't watch this motherfucker. Or watch it on mute. Because <laughs> we, we need them views, nigga. <laughs> nigga got to be humble. We need broken plays dropping every day, just like them ESPN shows. Yeah, we're going to get there one day. Not today. <laughs> Boo. 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 Somebody said <laughs> prize picks don't work in Indiana. I ain't, I don't know. I ain't been to Indiana. I was like, hey, y'all. It might not work, though. <laughs> Never been there. Man, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. But look, this is what y'all got to do. We got to just start infiltrating the game. If you know somebody in another state where prize picks do work, let them load it up for you. Send them the money, and you put it in. Yeah. You got to be somebody you trust. Now, prize picks not telling you to do that. I am. <laughs> so don't go feeling like you can sue them. It's me, and you can't sue me. Because <laughs> I'm going to say that was a joke. <laughs> Yes, sir. Shout out to Prize Picks. I'm Nav Green from Broken Play. The finals are here. Shout out to Prize Picks. They are giving away a 100% match. That means whatever you put up, they're going to match it, and you can go ahead and put in any entry you want. It's so many picks going on during these finals. Miami Heat versus Denver Nuggets. It's, it's getting so simple. They are putting how many minutes a player might play a game. Jokic. They got him at 40 minutes. That's a lock. Man, lock that in. It's easy money. If you put up $68, they're going to match your $68. If you put up $100, they'll match your $100. Who you know doing this? Nobody. That's why we rocking with prize picks. You don't even have to. So what your team got put out? You don't like the heat. You don't like the nuggets. Good. Just take the players. You have no heart in it. It's available in over 30 states. What you waiting for? Go head over to Prize Picks right now by tapping that link in below and tell them Broken Play sent you. Download Prize Picks today. Use the promo code Broken Play. Hey, it's the end of the year awards. So I think we should start giving out awards on our show. Because I see the NBA got their first all team and. Uh, defensive player of the year, MVP of the year. Hey, they don't understand us as viewers how we view it. We have to start giving the awards out how we see it. Speaking of awards, Trey Young has won the Get Your Ass On Award. Yeah. Mm. Trey Young has deleted all his Atlanta Hawks stuff off his page. He is tired of this shit. If Atlanta Hawks Lose Trey Young. Bro, what what are they doing? Like, where do you go from there? Down. Further down. I know stars want to come here. They do. They do, but I think it's just, bro, we be content with just what what it what what it ever would be. I don't know what this, I don't know that. I, I tried. I tried to make sense of this whole shit. I don't know, bro. You right. Why? Why don't y'all want to come? I feel like Will Smith on Fresh Prince. One nigga was crying about his dad. <laughs> you don't love me, man. You don't love me, man. <laughs> but I'm gonna be all right. That's how, like, as a whole Hawks organization, if we lose Trey Young and we don't get Jalen Brown. Man, we are some garbage bastards. <laughs> and I'm saying that as a city. Atlanta Hawks, they'll get, they'll get somebody you never wanted. Them niggas will goddamn do a six, six team trade and you'll end up with Julius Rounder. <laughs> Nigga, we never asked for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No. Trey Young, just think about it, bro. Quavo, one of you niggas hit Trey Young <laughs> up, do a song, do something. Come on, little baby. Then when the rappers got to start working. Yeah. 
God damn. You gotta use that influence. It would have something. to be a trade because he signed until 26 to 27 season. So can't just leave. If a nigga take his shit down, he finna sabotage. <laughs> right. Yeah, what is his plan? Why yeah. is he doing this? Trey, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> nigga at home. Fuck y'all. <laughs> don't yeah, he stay in LA, don't he? Yeah, yeah he got a crib in LA. He wanna play for LA, man. He wanna Either play. the Clippers or the Lake. He just don't wanna play for the Hawks. Is yeah. it Harry the Hawk? <laughs> like, why niggas don't like Atlanta Hawks, man? Yeah, it could be that nigga. Uh-huh. We're going to start with the first team all broken play. Like, you know how they do first team all NBA? Yeah. It's first team all broken play. Oh, this means more. Yeah, this, this means a lot more. <laughs> Starting off at number one. Yeah. My boy. <laughs> Anthony Ant Man Edwards. Y'all Ooh, clap it yeah. up. For sure. Man. From the city. All season. You've been showing what it is to be from Atlanta. Matter of fact, nigga, you come to Atlanta. Minnesota <laughs> yeah. don't deserve you, nigga. Yeah. Come here and play. Nigga, we're going to treat you like the king you are. <laughs> Second on the list, Jalen Brown. Damn, y'all didn't clap for Jalen? Right. We're going to clap. Yeah. Jalen. Besides that last game, nigga, you've been excellent all year. I don't know what to make turnovers was about, but I couldn't keep you off the list. You know I had to put my motherfucking dog LeBron on this motherfucker. Got to. Got to. Nigga! They say torn Achilles. You had so much ligaments missing. They said the nigga wasn't supposed to walk. Nigga out there getting them folks fought at 10 and 12 like it wasn't shit at 38. I can't leave you off. I know I talked a lot of trash about you, brother. And I, at one point in time, I thought you was almost a garbage bastard. But sadly, I was mistaken. Jokic. Woo! First team. All broken plate. Nigga, you could have been on there by yourself, nigga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nigga, I don't think none of them nigga pass better than you. Hey. They don't rebound better than you. Ever since he pushed the Phoenix Suns owner, man. Man, he just... that. <laughs> yeah. You is right. <laughs> he been on one ever since he pushed that owner. <laughs> pushed the nigga said, I ain't get suspended. <laughs> nigga, this my shit. <laughs> they asked what they asked him. They said, Do you know who you pushed? A fan. Nigga said a fan. A fan. <laughs> A fun. They said he was, <laughs> you would think he had a Joker jersey on. That nigga said a fun. <laughs> they tried to nigga, correct him. How can you him? not be a fan of Joker? Nigga, he a fan. <laughs> they tried to correct him. They said it was the Phoenix Stones owner you pushed. He was watching the game. He's still a fan. <laughs> 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 nigga, I don't care if you own that team. Nigga, you a fan. That's why you bought the team, because you was a fan at one point. Get the fuck out my face. <laughs> now the... Everybody be talking about they love how we get the garbage bastards out. This was well earned and well deserved. <laughs> the garbage bastard of the year award goes to no other than Ben Simmons. Mm. Nigga, you have shown what it takes to be a garbage bastard all year. You broke a team up two times. You broke Philly up. Then you took your ass up there to Brooklyn and broke that team up. Because you're hurt and you're crying. You're a crybaby. And that exemplifies a garbage bastard. You don't care what nobody think of you. Then you cold. <laughs> <laughs> what a nigga watching this, man. What the fuck you talking about, man? Nah, for real, though. Ben Simmons. I don't know what's left for you to do. But, nigga, if I hear or I even speculate you trying to bring your ass to Atlanta... <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna meet you at the airport myself. <laughs> they want to plant some drugs on you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you here, nigga. <laughs> we don't want you in the NBA, nigga. Hey, Adam Silver talking about uh, suspending Ja Morant. That's well in his right. Nigga, suspend, suspend Ben Simmons, too. Please. If, we, if he come to Atlanta, it's going to be a clip of Atlanta getting the first pick of the draft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For years to come. <laughs> ben Simmons is really trash, man. Horrible. By Bro, C you know what? He's not, Marseille, it's not he's so much trash. He got so much potential, and it's like, well, you know how when you see somebody, 
Like I got little cousins and little nephews like that I see, I be like, bro, you you play the game all day. You 200 pounds. 16. And then we seen what he could do. Like, yeah, they could call LSU. him LeBron like when he yeah. was coming up. All star. You see every LeBron year. stop fucking with him? That nigga, man, that nigga, uh, he used to be at LeBron's house taking pictures with LeBron and them. LeBron ain't put a picture up with this garbage bastard <laughs> Like, nigga, I don't want that type of shit around me, nigga. You tripping. You bad for the brand. You bad for the brand, boy. <laughs> Speaking of bad for the brand, nigga, Kyrie wants LeBron in Dallas. What y'all think about that? He ain't going to Dallas. Never going to happen. Would It'll Kyrie nice. go to L.A.? He wanted to go to L.A., but that just didn't. They didn't want to send him to LA. They weren't going to do that. Kyrie probably tired of moving. Nah, I don't nah, think so. Nah, he want to win, bro. Like, yeah, he want to win. He didn't play for. And then you got to think, Kyrie older now. You see what he messed up with LeBron? Yep. Um, not just to put all the blame on Kyrie, though. Kyrie, you know, it, it, it's people in your head telling you, like, bro, you dope as a motherfucker. You trip. This nigga ain't like this his team. He took, and then when people had that type of, then you realize you don't went to Boston, went to Brooklyn, then you went to Dallas. Like, bro, LeBron went so bad. Right. <laughs> but just as much as Kyrie needs LeBron, LeBron needed Kyrie. If LeBron would have had somebody like Kyrie with that Lakers team, oh my. Nigga, he would have won a ring. You talking about he wouldn't have got swept. Instead of that garbage bastard nominee, D'Angelo Russell, yes, for sure. Nigga. <laughs> Don't bring him up. Tyler Hero doesn't want to suit up for game three. He said he don't want to mess up the chemistry. I, I understand it. He's going to take minutes away from people that's doing well, so I understand Nigga, it. if they paying you, suit your motherfucking ass up. <laughs> Stop talking about what you want to do and what you don't want to do, nigga. This is the fucking finals. You feel me? Yeah. If, if we got any chance, you only can make us better. Yeah. If you fucking up, we know where to put your ass at, right where you was at, until you take your suit off. He's self-conscious, man. He probably seen comments of them saying they playing better without him. Yeah. Shit, stop reading, nigga. <laughs> When you read something like that, that's what niggas don't know how to take constructive criticism. My, my English teacher told me that in eighth grade. She said, Nav, you're a great student. You don't take constructive criticism. Because, bitch, I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but when I start realizing, I'm like, oh, she right. Because I was doing my book reports off movies and shit. I sit down and study and figure this shit out. I could be as great as she think I am. I never did it, though. You know why? Because I didn't know how to take constructive criticism. Just like Tyler Harrow don't. Nigga, if they play better without you, nigga, start working on your shit, nigga. Look what Caleb Martin doing. Look what Vincent doing. Vincent went, how many points he had? 23. 23. Look what they doing. And you just get in and start rolling. That's what teamwork is about. Don't go trying to take over shit. Go trying to keep the shit moving. That's your fucking problem. They say Eric Spoelstra and Kerr could command twenty million a year on next contract. Oh shit! Is it time coaches start getting paid like players? Hell no! Hell no! Nah, no! Hell no! Because oh, if you start talking like that, none of these coaches got shoes and shit. Most of them was players before they was coaches. Yeah, nigga, you was a player before. You don't got some money, bro. A lot of coaches. A lot of coaches nowadays, what are they doing? Because they get fired so quick. Yeah, turnaround. So crazy. it's like, that's what I'm saying, the turnaround. So if you start paying them like that, so it's like, you remember years where a coach would be with a team so damn long. You identified that coach with that team. Right. Now it's like, nigga, what... Doc Rivers done been on what? Four teams. You remember Orlando Magic, uh, Clippers, Boston. Boston. Boston Celtics, Philly. Who do you out of, who, who, who would you identify him with? Boston, Boston. only because he won a ring with them. Yeah. And one ring. 
Clippers, yeah. Clippers you think Clippers off top? Be second. So it's just like that. Like, you don't want them to start getting money like that. Like, well, I don't. You shit, give them the money. It ain't mine. But I'm just saying, it don't make sense. It doesn't. Because you want to keep capping the players off saying it ain't enough money in the CBA and all that shit. What you talking about? You going to give a coach all this money? And if you fire him, you still going to have to pay that money. Right. Yeah. Mm. Now, in college, I understand because y'all not paying the players. And that's when it was fucked up. You getting them coaches all that damn right. money. And not no, you know what I'm saying, not no players. Monty Williams becomes the highest paid coach in NBA history. Hey, I know I just talked that shit about Curry and Spocher, but they ain't black. <laughs> I love when a black king get his motherfucking money. If that coach want that money, give it to him. Monty, you ain't going to win in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> So you might as well start spending that money now, nigga. You got two years before they get your ass on up out of there. They got a good young core, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just think, bro, with that team, like Monty Williams, I think he could have just went to a contender. Monty Williams a great coach. Yeah. He should have never got out of Phoenix. Nah, yeah. But you never know when these players agree with the coaches and stuff like that and what's going on. Yeah. So, that hey, plays. What? Him and KD didn't have enough time to really blend. Yeah. KD, KD and Booker didn't have enough time to really blend. I think they got some. You know, they just didn't have no bench. Yeah. But the finals is now 1-1. One, one. Man. Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm proud of Miami, man. Nobody saw. Hey, I told y'all, even though it wasn't Jimmy, Jimmy came alive in the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah. when but they bruh, needed him. Gabe Vincent and that nigga Duncan Robinson, it's they role players. Yeah, they stepped up. Max Struess came up and had 10. Man, Max Struess said, hey. He's fucked me over, bro. Hey, Max Struess, <laughs> they asked Max Struess, they said, when you was 0 for 9, how do you feel? He said, hey, shooters going to shoot. Yeah. That's how I know Jimmy Butler in them niggas' head. White yeah. boys don't talk like that. Nah. Shooters gonna shoot. If they do, they talking about other shit. Oh, <laughs> you seen Duncan Robin flexing on them too? But Duncan hey, Robinson flexing. This shit might get flagged. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist that. <laughs> yeah, man. But no. I think Miami got a better chance than people think. Yeah. You know why I was watching that game and I saw Miami finna win? Get what I said. Ain't no motherfucking way. LeBron got swept. <laughs> and Miami finna... Man, look, look at the team, bro. You see what I'm saying, man. Great, you mean to tell point. me, D'Angelo Russell, that Max Struess and Gabe Vincent out there balling harder than you? And nigga, Joker went for 40. Yeah, they, that's what they're going to go by. They're going to let him... Kill him off the points. Because you see he only had four assists this past game. That's what fucked him up. Yeah. And that's Jamal what fucked Murray ain't have over 20. They're going to stop everybody else and let Joker go off. Yeah, man. Denver's 0-3 when Joker scores 40-plus in the playoffs. And that's man, the right let that nigga go for 50. Yeah, that's the right adjustments to make. They, could, they really got a chance now. They're only going to win one more. You think, one, you think, you think, it, you think Nuggets and six? Nuggets I and know six. Miami going to win one at home. Yeah, for sure. I seven. feel like they're going to win game three at home. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that Miami be up 2-1. And, and they had an eight-point spread, that net. So, nigga, I was watching that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Another round, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, it got a little scary because they ran off, though. Man, uh, when we come back, we're going to get into some highlights and lowlights. And, uh, but before we get to that, man, I just wanted to send a... Uh, Big love and respect to DC Young Fly Man and uh, RIP to Miss Jackie Old Man. We we lost some of our eighty. We lost the eighty five South member. And when I say we're a family, we're a family. And our prayers go out to DC Young Fly. Uh, we saw in the comments y'all was concerned about him, and as a team, we concerned about him. So much love and respect to my brother DC. I talked to him, and you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be if anybody can handle it, it's DC man. He he got the faith of a. A goddamn gorilla. And uh much love and respect to him. I just wanted to say that because that needed to be said, man. So uh 
When we get back, we got some highlights and we got some low lights, and we'll be back on Broken Play. Woo! Game two. Now game one was game one was what we thought it was gonna be. Game one was right. thought I, I knew Denver would win, but Miami Slick made a little run at the end. Where it was like, oh, okay. They got within like nine. Yeah, yeah. they got within like nine, but Denver Denver has a strong ass team Man. from one to eleven. And nigga Reggie Jackson and uh, your boy don't even play. Even. The nigga who uh, Brian. They don't even play. <laughs> so these niggas could go deeper in their bench if they wanted to. Speaking of going deeper if they wanted to, the nigga gave Vincent. <laughs> the nigga was the most improved in the G League in 2020. Nigga scored 23 points in the fucking finals. Ooh. Nigga, talk about knowing your goddamn ceiling. Nigga try to put you in a box, but hey. I'm bigger than this G League shit. Word. They probably all coming to him be like, bro, you gonna be you gonna be the face of this shit, nigga. Who? <laughs> 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 bitch, uh, bitch, I'm here for a minute. I'm gonna go. I'm going to the NBA. I'm going to the real shit. Yeah. Nigga, nah, we gonna never get over there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they just tell us that we never really go to the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm going to the NBA, bitch. Yeah. And I'm going to the finals, and he did. Game two, twenty three. See, this on me. Who the fuck put finals MVP with a question mark? Who wrote that? <laughs> Let, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, y'all just be talking hey, shit now. Andre Iguodala did it, so you never know if they win. This one game, Marcel. He's took. averaging 19. What did he get in front? So you think got, a nigga averaging 19 finna win the finals MVP? Possibly. No. <laughs> Andre Iguodala averaged 19 when he won the finals MVP. Nigga, he had to go against... Well, hey, that's the worst MVP. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, LeBron get, averaged a triple-double. You still get an MVP. That nigga held that motherfucker with pride. Man. <laughs> Just the fact that he's in the conversation for finals MVP is... Yeah, nigga, because of us. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody else mentioned this shit. <laughs> Nigga, that's y'all talking as y'all done smoke four blunts. <laughs> nah, he stepped up. Though. Is he a starter in the league? But definitely. Yeah, for, for, sure. Sure, for sure. Yeah. For sure. We all can agree on that. Yeah. And attest to that. I hope they don't make the same mistake Dallas made by letting Brunson go and you see Gabe Vincent somewhere going to fuck crazy. Speaking of going to fuck crazy, nigga, bring your ass to Atlanta. To Atlanta. Come to, hey, yeah. that's what we gonna start doing. When these teams fucking up, we gonna start pulling these niggas from the team, get them on the Hawks. Make our own team. Duncan Robinson. Ooh, that motherfucker had 10 points in the fourth quarter. He only had 10 in the game. <laughs> nigga, them 10 came just when they needed. <laughs> You're right. Jimmy Butler was sitting on the bench chilling. Yeah. Man, he stepped up. Man. And you know who else been going crazy? We didn't have him on the list, though. Bam. Man. Y'all yeah, been man. sleeping on Bam. Yeah. Nicky heard us. Yeah. He Bam been, been playing deep. Hey, even though Joker had 41. Because Joker <laughs> can't be stopped, bro. Right, nah. You block his shot one time, the nigga get the rebound, walk over there to the right, pass the ball, get the mother. Hey, bro, if you want to teach your kid how to play basketball, let that nigga watch Joker. That bitch don't get tired. It works. But it works. Bro. Yeah. Man, he shoot that bitch like this. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, to your point, Bam has been making the right adjustments, man. He's oh, been, yeah. Bam been playing defense. Yeah. He's been doing as much as he can. He's been doing better than Anthony Davis. Right. <laughs> yeah. More consistent. More yeah, consistent. Yeah, let's see what game so three talking yeah. about. Yeah. And then it's like, it's more weight with Bam. Yeah. Speaking of weight... <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do next game, Michael Porter, because you didn't do shit the last one. Man. Five <laughs> points, brother. 
Low light. And, and, and somebody said inconsistent has always been his issue. Michael Porter got game. Yeah. You just don't know what my, Michael Porter played lights out against the Lakers. When my money on the line, motherfucker, you, you couldn't miss. Now when I'm neutral, bitch, you neutral. <laughs> <coughs> you should have fucked up against the Lakers, nigga. Man. He didn't shoot a lot. He only shot eight shots, which is very interesting. He usually shoot a lot more than that. Went two for eight from the field, one for six from three. Ooh. Five points, six rebounds. Michael hey, Porter. where we getting this from? <laughs> they say he was compared to Kevin Durant. No, oh, who said that? Who the fuck wrote? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Hey, y'all nigga trying to sabotage my show, bro. Nah, 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 chill, chill. Who the fuck wrote that, bro? That nigga ain't never been compared to no damn KD. And I'm not going to say it. Let me tear that piece off. Uh, <laughs> nigga, trying to fuck me up, man. Bro, y'all want my show to fail that bad? No, nah, bro. Nigga wanted me to say the shit. They think I don't read. They think I just... <laughs> nah, I ain't like these other reporters. Nigga, I, I got my own mind. <laughs> Who the fuck said that stupid shit for a number one player compared to Kevin Durant? They wrote it like that, event. <laughs> All right. I, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. So, no, so nobody knows now. We not, we not trying to snitch on our fellow staff member. All right. <laughs> Joker only had four assists in a game, two loss. That's the problem. And Joker known for getting everybody involved. Uh, Involved. I think that's Miami's game plan. But this the thing. I can't necessarily blame Joker if a nigga like Booker only, I mean, uh, a nigga like Porter only have five points. Nigga, if I'm giving you the ball and you don't goddamn score, nigga, you fucking up my assist. Who the fuck I'm going to throw it to? And who going to score? Caldwell Pope, niggas not talking about him enough. Caldwell Pope been all right out there, Marcel. Trash. How? We'll, we'll talk about it in the next segment, but trash. <laughs> you been, had him on prize pick of the week? <laughs> he been all right, like you said. He been all right. He been all right. Yeah. He's doing what? GB. GB. Garbage master. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he doing what you expect out of a Caldwell Pope. Like, yeah. If you want the nigga to give you 20, then you already fucking up. Yeah, that's too much. He give you about 9 or 10. Yeah, and he played. He been playing, but he hasn't been given nine to ten. He had six. What he, horrible! No, nah, the first game he had. He had 10. seven on the first game. He only Damn, had seven. he seven only had six game too. Yeah, trash. bro. That, hey, when you watching the game, it look like them niggas be scoring more. <laughs> yeah, that nigga had three at the free throw line. Well, you know he got fouled on that three. Yep, and he only had one field goal after that. Damn, that's tough. GB, I have a question. What's more American than a ball eagle? The 4th of July is almost here, and that means a couple of things. Barbecues, pool parties, and last but not least, glizzies. And it just so happens the sponsors of today's shows, Manscaped, are making sure all the glizzy gladiators across the nation are groomed for battle on America's birthday. From sea to shining sea, join over 8 million pew patriots worldwide who trust Manscaped with exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with our code 85 sports at manscaped.com. Talk about an American dream. It's only right to start with America's favorite, the performance package 4.0. Inside this package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. First off, the lawnmower 4.0, you call yourself an American without a lawnmower? Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. Thanks to their advanced skin safe TMT technology, the lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof and it also has a 400K LED spotlight you need for more precise shave. Take your freedom bells to the next level by going to manscaped.com and get 20% off with free shipping with our discount code, 85 sports. Get your independence back this Independence Day and unlock your confidence with Manscaped TM. So look, we only got, got we're going to start getting into baseball as well. Because <laughs> we only have a few highlights and lowlights. Right. And the only team I really be keeping up with is them damn Braves. 
And nigga, I know they won the other day. I don't know what day it was, but I know they won the other day. <laughs> they beat the shit out of somebody. They got a game today against the uh, Mets at, at the Truist Park, so it should be a good Who game. you like? Uh, Yankees and Braves. Those are my squads. Hey, Judge. When he, when he talking about leaving the Yankees? Yeah, it was a contract year from um, this year, but they re-signed him. It was thoughts about him going to the Giants, but it was a false rumor. But he stayed. He's he the highest paid? Yeah, he's he's paid a good amount of money. I'm talking about the highest paid baseball player. And the I think so. Yeah, I think so. Damn. Yeah. Who who all the Braves got? All I know is Acuna. Cause we got rid of Freeman. Uh, Albies, um, Sean Murphy, uh, Matt Olson. Yeah, we might sit Acuna. baseball season now. <laughs> <laughs> we might sit there. Cause I don't know how to get these nigga highlights and lowlights. Striking out three times is a low light. Highlight home run, a, a big a web gym, a big play in the in the infield. Bro, you know when I when I was before we had broken play, hit the market and take the lead by storm. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch those sports shows, and when they start talking about baseball, I would always turn that motherfucker at night. Cause you know they show baseball at night when they think everybody's sleep. Right, but if you putting like entries on it, you more locked in. Oh sure. yeah. Nigga, all you, sometimes you can just get a nigga to get on base for prize picks. Yeah. Shout out to prize picks. <laughs> and you, that shit seem like a lock, but that shit be hard. <laughs> Some of these niggas don't get past second base. Yeah. You, you got a uh, prize picks account, Get you, Got to get you one, man. Got to Go get you one, man. <laughs> Download it right now, man. Download it right Use now. Use the promo code. Because we about to get into my favorite segment. Uh... <laughs> Only your favorite. I think I was the only nigga uh, who was successful last week. Yeah. Uh, and it's because I studied the game unlike these <laughs> niggas, man. <laughs> these, niggas, these niggas make entries off, off their heart and off emotions. <laughs> no. I study the game. <laughs> I know what it takes. And with that being said, when we come back, it's either, A, hey, as a team, we lost, though. It's no, it's no 1942 at the club. It's no hot wings. It's no broken plate. I'm not even going to do that shit today. We got to get it this season at least once. See, that's the motivation I needed. Yeah. Oh, shit. We got broken play in the motherfucking building. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. 1942. One bottle, two bottle, three bottle, four bottle. Man, when we come back, you finna see us come from the bottom. This shit gonna be like paid in full with that. Yeah. We standing in that motherfucker, yeah. that broken play sign. Oh. It's deserved. It's well deserved. Nigga, we earned that shit. Facts. That's why I like that shit, because if we would have been winning from the start, we wouldn't understand when we finally get that championship, 1942 bottle. Yeah. We ain't even drinking that motherfucker. We just <laughs> filling that bitch in the club. <laughs> Nigga, that prize picks money, bitch. <laughs> With that being said, when we come back, we're going to see who was successful last week. And we're going to see the losers from last week. And we're going to make our predictions for the game three when we come back on Broken Play. Woo! Let's read these results from last week. Hey, I, I don't want to come off as I'm showboating. Marcel, would you be so kind to read them? Uh, I can't find yeah. yeah, I got you, bro. Hold on. Oh, Thad has the paper. Thad, I got you? It. I got oh, it. yeah. <laughs> Sound like you got an attitude, brother. Yeah, this is right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, so, um, we have a new person that in the number one spot. It, it took him a while, but he's he's there. Nav Green, four and three. Jamal Murray to go over two and a half turnovers, which is a very interesting pick, and it won. He had three, so that was a great pick. It wasn't interesting. I know Miami Heat play team <laughs> defense. Jamal Murray, he's the point guard. He, he has the ball a lot. He's going to have an offensive foul. He's trying to get to the cup. 
You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you're just trying to make plays happen. You're trying to get the, get that, get the rock to Jokic. Yeah. Get the rock to Joker. He's trying to do things. Sometimes your shot not working. Then sometimes you just turn to your shot. And I, I just felt the two and a half, I knew he, he was going to be good for three. And speaking of three, that's why I'm three spots ahead of a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead with the further rankings. The great pick. Um, tie for a second. Dom, he lost last week as well. Bam, under 26 points, rebounds, and assists. And Bam went He had 26 crazy. points alone. Uh, so that was tough. He had 44 all combined. So Dom is 24. Um, my, myself, hard. It's been four game losing streak. This is fade, fade me. All, all our viewers, fade Marcel right now. I'm, I'm, I'm in the funk right now. I apologize. It won't happen again. Trust me. KCP. GB nominee for me. Um, points, rebound, and assists over 13 and a half. He only had 10. So seven points, three rebounds. Um, crash. Thad. Um, two and five, Thad. <sighs> Supposed to be three and four, man. Bro, he, he lost had a tough by, call. Tough. He lost by a half point. He got, he got the hook. He had Joker to get over 27 and a half, and Joker only had 27. Bro. That's a bad beat. Yes. Man, the worst possible. That's why we named this show Broken Play. That's a broken damn play. Because <laughs> yeah. the nigga probably missed a free throw. One free throw, you got your 28 points. That's all it would have took, man. Yvette, she rolled with Dom. Greg rolled with Marcel. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> Marco <laughs> rolled with me. He won as well. <laughs> Shout out to the boy, man. <laughs> Then got his little Usher fit on. Got the AI. <laughs> that look like Usher that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so real quick, man. We finna draw this up. Do we have a lot of options, uh, Marcel? Uh, yeah. There's a few options on points and steals. They got a lot of players up right now. All right. Y'all already looking. Yeah, I got See, one. none of y'all see we do this live. Hey, speaking of live, so, you know, in this last segment, I was talking about who put down that Porter was compared to Kevin Durant. My, It's my main guy. Uh, my main guy, Dom. Give him the mic, because Dom came in. I wrote the shit, man. Yeah, Dom, yeah that, 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 what, that what kind of attitude every, I write everything. That what kind of attitude it. he bust through the door. He said, yeah, I wrote this yeah, shit. Yeah, I wrote this shit. He nigga. said, when he was coming out of elementary, he what? No, nah, nigga, when a nigga was coming out of high school and college, he was the no, number one. No, not college. Yeah, he was the number one pick. He had back surgery. He fell in the rankings. The nigga was compared to Kevin Durant. What pick did he go? I rest my case. Four, what pick? 14. 14? Mm-hmm. And we comparing a nigga who went 14 to a nigga who could have been number one. All right. <laughs> that's that's dumb. First time ever messing up. <laughs> <laughs> who gonna who gonna pop it off? Marcel. All right, bet. Yeah, I'm gonna go. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> right, exactly. Since I'm gonna go first, do Gabe Vincent, man. What you gonna take is. <laughs> 13, 13 and a half points over. All right. Gabe Vincent, 13 and a half points. Great pick. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Thanks, Nev. All right, Thad, it's on you. I got Bam free throws over. Bam free throws over three and a half. Over three and a half. He playing aggressive these last two games. He's going to get to the line. Yeah, Joker don't foul much, though. He don't, but Aaron Gordon do. All right. It's, I'm going I'm to go ahead and three points attempted Joker. All he got to do is attempt three three-pointers. I feel like that's a lot because he's been feeling Ooh. his shot lately. He's been feeling his shot lately. No, you good. It's locked in. But of all the, all the Jokic things you can do, why that one? Because you can do points, I just rebounds. Lost, I just lost on his assist, and I, I'm watching the game, and I'm like, the nigga really do be shooting threes if that because they leaving him open. I so he gonna like, try. Okay, if we trying to get to the club, we need to come together as a collective and make these picks make sense. If it's, you if you the leader, lead us to the to the money. 
Man, get dumb that fucking mic and shut the hell up. <laughs> Man. These niggas wear suits one week now, they feel like we wolf on Wall Street. <laughs> Pass that goddamn microphone, man. <laughs> Brother Thad. We, we trying to get to the club at all, night. All them preaching this shit, man. Deacon. You can tell when niggas been losing. <laughs> man, to... man, you on your selfish shit. No, nigga, it's still a competition. Switch us <laughs> you got That mean y'all gotta step y'all shit up. We gotta switch something. We gotta switch something up for sure. Yeah, y'all gotta start <laughs> getting y'all peaks. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about we gotta switch some shit up. Dom, who you got, man? Look, man, my nigga Dom, he, he confused. Been a lot of bullshit going on lately. I'm gonna go out on a whim here. I'm gonna take Michael Porter Jr. I'm gonna take his points, rebounds, and assists. Oh shit. Over 23 and a half. Oh shit. We is game. going to the club, nigga. Bounce back game. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Event, what you like? You got your own? No. But, I mean, at this point, I'm really just here to, like, do my job and, like, be cute. I'm going to go with... <laughs> <laughs> That's objective. <laughs> I'm going with Marcel Pitt this week. I think that's a, I think that's a great choice. Yeah. Hey! Y'all niggas going to learn. But I also thought side with that, like we need to be one team. Like if something isn't Marco, who you got? (laughs) (laughs) Huh? Hey, hey, you know how we do, bro. We ain't lost. When you good with me, we ain't lost. All right, Gabe Vincent, 13 and a half more. Bam, over three and a half free throws. I got Joker more than three three points attempted. Yeah. All he got to do is shoot, attempt four threes. He don't got to make them. Michael Porter Jr., 23 and a half points, rebounds, and six more. We're going to put, we're going to put 150, man, to win 1,200. Put that $100 in? Killer? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was such a cute story. I don't, yeah, I don't want you to jinx the money. We gonna leave it. We gonna leave it at one fifty for this week. You come in next week if we lose again. With that being said, man, we got some special guests coming up, man. Hey, when we, when we, y'all just heard our picks, bro. Don't pray against us, bro. <laughs> y'all, I, I be seeing people in the comments. It be looking like they be happy. Man, them niggas lost again. With laughing emojis. Man, let us win one week. <laughs> let us get prize picks. Speaking of prize picks, make sure y'all download prize picks and use the broken play code so y'all can goddamn bet against us. Cause how our shit been looking. But we got some special guests in the building. Uh we in for a real treat. So when we get back to broken play. Hold on. What y'all think we need to have uh have some some music going in when we Oh man. Yeah, them shits were trash. <laughs> oh, he got some new ones. Try let, let, let hear a little bit of them. Oh yeah, just play it in the microphone. We just gonna get a little snippet of it. And as a collective, we'll see what we got. Cause I be seeing on other sports shows, they say something and then they just turn. Then they music just drop. <laughs> no, I don't wanna do what them niggas do, but I want my like Just make some binges off a broken play. A broken play, gotta make some more today. Riding down 85, I don't see no other way. Competition slim, I say they okay. And just like that, we'll be back. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, that young nigga might got some right now. We get mad green, got more picks than a comb. You know what I mean? 85 and prize picks. Yeah, that's the Just like that, we we'll back. Watching, you don't know what you man, I told you we had some special guests, man. We got the. Uh, 
the actor extraordinaire. You did a little boxing too, or you what? What'd you say? You did you fought? I did a little mixed martial arts. Like mixed martial arts. Yeah, I ain't last long. <laughs> <laughs> you ever took that before? Nah. Like, I have. Oh, I talking about like. The- <laughs> She, she looked at the camera. Look, when she, said even, that. she looked at the camera when she said that. You can't even get introduced the right way, man. I'm sorry, before Mike was rudely interrupted, we also have the queen from the poor minds, Lex P. Y'all clap it up for her. Hello. Now. <laughs> so you were saying you do mixed martial arts. But I ain't living like that kind of too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> About boxing and oh, okay, Jesus. <laughs> man, you getting your ass choked out. You done said the wrong shit. <laughs> you from Akron? So, uh, did you used to watch LeBron James in high school or something? You ever catch something in high school game? We knew in like sixth grade he was gonna be not like, you know, maybe the top two ever in the world, but we knew he was gonna be like special. In sixth grade. Nigga, in sixth grade? Sixth grade. That's yeah. wild. But I feel like if you got it, you got it. Nigga, but at sixth grade? At sixth grade. Niggas ain't even wiping their ass good. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Aye>, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, you was running down the court, stank. <laughs> no, I'm saying. <laughs> Nigga still is a little boy, though. Like, since, but, like, LeBron, like, it's certain people, like, you know what I'm saying, that you went to school with, you knew, like, athletic-wise. But, like, that's we had somebody like Morgan Burnett that I went to school with, and we knew he was going to make it to the I went to school with Earl Thomas. Like we, For real? Yes. Mm. He's from Orange, Texas. The safety. That yes. went to Seahawks. And we, like, he was always just athletic. He was good at basketball, too. Like, he was just, he was good at baseball. And you never tried to talk to him? Be f- <laughs> <laughs> you be fucking up, man. <laughs> you be fucking up. Really? You know all the sports the nigga played. And yeah. He- Cause we were we grew up together though. Did like his talk? mom and my mom. Did were, y'all talk? This is this is. I thought we were talking about sports, niggas. Oh yeah. This is sports. Shout out to Earl Thomas over here. Put that shit on the head. Nah, he just talking. Hey, shit. You know, he just talking hey, shit. Here. <laughs> but like LeBron, how was like you know what I'm saying? You you talking like sports wise, but like other than that, he was just cool. mentality, bro. He just always he was he was like. It, it was he was freakishly disciplined, you know what I'm saying? Which was crazy because his environment, our, our environment, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, you know, Glow was, you know, his mom was, you know, she was on drugs back then, and he didn't have that father figure. I mean, he had Eddie around, but as far as like, you know, like his real father. Mm-hmm. So it just was like, I, to this day, I don't know how this man was like that, but he always been like that. He always been smart, disciplined, getting up at four or five o'clock in the morning. Going to play basketball somewhere. He just was like that. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mike, you ain't never play sports. You could have been like a football player. Like I got cut in football. <gasps> I got traded. Traded? And Pee Wee's. It's never happened. <laughs> oh, hell no. Yeah, because I think, I think the coach was either he was fucking my mama or he was trying to fuck me. <laughs> Damn. Hey, yeah. that shit going on in that, that, yeah. that, that daddy Not ball no shit. Grown. You know you grown. You know, everybody like, nah, my mama shit. <laughs> Not your mama was getting down. I mean, I done fucked some kids' mamas. They be like, oh. my mama was never. Like, nigga, you was in the other room sleep. <laughs> so it happens, you know what I mean? Why don't shows turn into this? I was hey. ready to talk about Pat Riley. We talking about Pat Riley. <laughs> 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 nigga, wow. if, if your coach only take you home, nigga, that coach nigga. done fucked your mama. <laughs> <laughs> coach, I need a ride to, hey, wait your ass over there. Oh, your mom's supposed to be at 8.30, I gotta go. You the only nigga get in your coach truck? Mama fucking. Your mama done fuck. Not come. the only one getting I was because, because I was bad. I was real bad. What position they had you at? Man, I played everything. I tried to kick it. I couldn't kick. I couldn't do nothing, bro. Oh, my God. Defensive end was what I ended up at, but I never got the game. One time, it's so bad, I got traded to the other team for nobody. They basically sent me to the other team. <laughs> But it was so bad. Now you got, you got sent to the other block. You got 
six. I got six. <laughs> Man, I got go, six go play with Welcome All. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. That's how bad it was. The first game, I was excited. I'm gonna get him. I had a, I had a mouthpiece, and it was in the rapper. Another player, he had one. The coach was like, "Damn!" He said, "Mike." <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd go in the game. He said, "Give me that goddamn mouthpiece." <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> give me that goddamn mouthpiece. What? Go sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh when a nigga when a nigga whispering cuss at you, he mean go sit your goddamn ass. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was your moment. He said, "Bye." I said, "Ooh, <laughs> said, take the mouthpiece off your helmet." Hurry up. <laughs> Sam, come here. Like, what the fuck? Were you just not good? Because you're a big guy. I'm pretty sure you've been big all your Sometimes life. Sometimes the technique, that a lot of that matter, yeah. you gotta be like. The problem was, is street football, you know, play street football for you? I was yeah. a quarterback. When I got there, yeah, like. Yeah, niggas ain't just tackling <laughs> <laughs> So you can't think you were gonna go out there. They're like, nigga, I'm like, defensive man, what's that? I didn't know what the fuck that was. I'm gonna line and shit, block mm. it. That wasn't my thing. Mm. But uh, that was last, that was it. <laughs> now, yeah, we tried to actually very good at volleyball. I play volleyball. Yes. I was lit. My name is still in the gym. Uh Uh-oh. I broke records. For real? At volleyball. Yes, I had the ace record and I had the points record. I did. How many kids went to school? You know what? (laughs) I was trying to figure out. First of all, I was four it was a 4A school, okay? Okay, okay. In Texas. My bad. Don't do me. I'm a legend. (laughs) Legend. 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 Now, have you played any sports? Yeah, I played a little football. I played baseball when I was younger. I stopped football. I stopped football in ninth grade, though. Why? Shit. Like, niggas was growing and I went. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that summer after eighth grade, you feel like everybody's supposed to go to high school tall. Yeah. And I'm seeing niggas start getting taller. I'm still coming to ninth grade my same height. <laughs> And so, like, in, in middle school, honestly, bro, I, I'm not lying to you. I was, like, real good at football. Because it's, like, wherever they put me at, like, I, I was a dog. I had heart. Ooh. But in high school, nigga, it don't matter how much heart you got, <laughs> how much dog you thought you had. Nigga, you go with somebody 6'3", 290, all muscle, been yeah. living weight since he got to high school. <laughs> Bitch, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> My coach told me something. Uh, uh, uh. First, this one you know, and like you know, like scout team, you'll be on kickoff return or kickoff. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where you, when you go in high school, that's where they put you at. So kickoff return, you really like crash dummy. Right. <laughs> you supposed to be blocking, but you don't even you don't look back to see what this nigga doing. You just man, motherfucker coming full speed, Mike. I like it's either me or him. <laughs> I go down. Boom! Next thing I know, I'm sitting over there on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> but my coach was happy. He was like, that's the shit I'm talking about, Green. <laughs> Bitch, I don't even remember getting up walking over here. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I think I was in concussion protocol that whole damn day. They didn't even know. But listen how crazy that sounds. So imagine people who have been doing that since they were like kids to adults. That's why they... Oh, they off. They got, bro, you got to Football players are crazy. Oh, no, nigga, I don't think the I'm nigga off. who was doing that, he didn't even make it to the league. So imagine a nigga who would have gone to the league if that would have... That would have been their man. whole life. We got to touch on that. Yeah. I'm going to have to kill a couple of them niggas by these women. What that? Football players. Why? Because women, you know, I'm the same size as them niggas, so the type of women that like them like me. Mm. So I'd have had beef with a lot of football players. And I'm not like, you fucking Tom Brady hoes. I mean, <laughs> it's more like. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mike, no fuck. Mike, no fuck. That's what I want. Hey, let the name of the title, man. Mike, bless fuck, man. Ryan White. <laughs> God damn. That was good. That was getting the view. <laughs> but the quarterback. <laughs> It don't be the quarterbacks though. It be the linemen. The linemen, linemen, crazy as fuck. Linemen yeah. are crazy. But Mike, you don't be noticing, bro. Usually <laughs> linemen, them niggas be goofy and know how to dance and do all yeah. types of shit. They, they, they be the main yeah. one that be pulling them. Yeah. I'm not afraid yeah, because they have a different personality. Mm-hmm. And they trick off different. 
They got that money. Office they do. Yeah. Now, for some reason, office and lineman, I don't want to say his name. I don't, I don't have to kill him for real. Oh, yeah, don't say his name. I don't, hell no. Because I don't want to make tell me up. when the I'm going to tell you what it's over with, but I, yeah, because, I, you yes. know. I'll say this. Uh-oh. I feel like with football players, it just it's unfortunate because, you know, they can't find out what's going on until they pass away. But I feel like a lot. What? Like, no, the CTE, CTE stuff. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> I thought we you just, was talking. We were just talking about a nigga Hogan fucks. No, but he's oh, talking oh, about them being crazy. Oh, okay. It's crazy. a literally, it's like a chemical imbalance. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh. And I ain't even trying to be funny, like really crazy. Yes. Let me how crazy this nigga was. It's a girl, so I love. I don't this. want to jail behind this, but. Before the guy, she was dating some other guy. She's like, she's like, I can't date nobody because he be tripping. And I'm like, man, fuck that shit. Like, I ain't tripping. <laughs> so she started telling me the like, story. Like, you a real nigga. I don't really need to talk. He don't give a fuck about me. Hey, nigga, I'm 5'6 and I say that shit. I don't even care how I talk, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your nigga. Hey, that's what that means. No one can beat my ass. <laughs> it's just a, you know, mentality. It's a mentality, man. Because I know, I know what shit is. I'm probably going to fight a football player. Especially now, now I'm older now. But back then, hell no, nah, cause you going even the world start me. I'm going to jail. <laughs> this motherfucker was she, she was on a date. And he came in there and took the dude drink. Like he was sitting down, he came in there and got the drink and drank it and said, "This who you in here with?" I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I be like, bye. Come on, daddy. See, don't do that. I'm just playing. Cause everybody be like, don't y'all do that, gentlemen. Don't do that. Please don't do that. But no, I literally, <laughs> I'm like, telling you, I've had a lot of homegirls date, and you know. Have you ever dated an athlete? We don't want to hear no, that. No, I have Have you ever been a lineman? Yes, I have. And that, just be honest. He was a lineman? Honestly, okay, I have, he actually, probably. I can't, I'm a, it's a weird situation because, like like I said, they just be having things wrong with them in the head. I don't want to tell the story. Man, how, many, how many uh, linemen you done been with? Just one. Oh, just, that nigga was just crazy. one athlete period. Just one. She can't period. say it though, but look at her. I'm gonna say you, you sound like Kylie Jenner on this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 them niggas be crazy, okay. bro. But like I said, it is unfortunate because they can't find out what's wrong with them until you yeah. know they're gone. But it's like something needs to change with that. Bro. For sure. I'm a victim. Cause you, but even like, you talk about the linemen, but even think about the people that are getting tackled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like the running backs and shit. The, oh, the, the wires. All that. Them yeah. little head. Them little, mm-mm. Let me tell you what you got to do. Like, my sister can only date a kicker. Oh, hell. <laughs> kicker get the money up, right? Yeah, he, he can think. He well, got sense. Hey, but shit. You go over there talking that shit, man. He kick your ass. <laughs> Ooh. Man, think about, man, a kicker. Man, kick. you'll be bruised. Your rib will be bruised. <laughs> Imagine if he too. kick you in your shin, though. That's a place where you're not even going to fix. Because that's where that kick be right Mike, there. Mike, you sitting up with your bed. That won't come up and kick your ass. you done. I'm done. You're cooked. I'm Finito. done. Yeah, not no kicker. You want the place kicker, the nigga who hold it. Oh, my boy, the kicker. That nigga ain't going to do shit. I'm fucking him up. Yeah, you going to be in there. Like, hey, you can look now. Send me in now. Hold on, my little sore guy. I'm pulling up, nigga. Hey, you talking about? So I know, like, your your favorite sport, boxing. What's your favorite sport, Lex? Golf. Golf. (laughs) She went the bag. Anyway, who do y'all see winning the finals, man? Miami or Denver? Who? Oh, uh, Miami. You got Miami? Yeah, I got Miami. I she love like Miami. Miami. Yeah, she she <laughs> like Miami as a city. I she want been. Miami to be lit because I'm finna be outside. <laughs> well, it's gonna be Denver. It's, it's gonna be Denver. <laughs> you get some good, you can get some good weed. That's what I was about to say. I'll smoke a little weed. Man, yeah, because Denver's gonna be a little edible. Just a little. I'm, just a little, but I'm rooting for Miami. Just because of the city? I mean, I, I'm a fan. Who's your favorite player? Uh oh. We got. Jimmy Butler, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Jimmy Butler. Uh-huh. Come on, you got it. Don't say Dwayne Wade. Uh, look. Right, Till this morning, I thought it was still LeBron. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> First of all, because they're going to question my credentials. So let me just say, I am a sports fan. We joking around and we playing. I have been watching professional sports since... Man, what's the name? Since, right. since, right. since, right. since Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say I know what I'm talking about, but we don't have to get into the details. Who's right. your pick? <laughs> I'm gonna go. With, I think Denver gonna win. Yeah, man. 
Who you got now? Joker. Hey, that's a cold ass white boy. He cold. You know that. <laughs> hey, you hey. Know that. It don't take much, but motherfucker know. That hey, nigga Joker. That motherfucker cold. That was a cold. That was what you like this. We ain't seen no shit like that since the dream. Bro. And I ain't talking about Nivea, baby daddy. Yeah. Hey, the boy's cool. Hey, is that shit right? Come on, the girl is good. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro, I was watching the game too at the sports bar, so you know women in there watching the game too. So when Joker playing, the women watching the game, they're like, he don't miss. <laughs> he don't bro, miss. Bro, I'm like, they ain't been saying he do miss, but I'm looking like, shit, he don't miss. He <laughs> don't know what was in everything. Bro, that motherfucker, I'm out. I was the Lakers, he put me out. I ain't watched the game since. He Bruh. put me out. That nigga financially, he put me out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I have to learn how to pronounce somebody's name in sports, that's when I'm like, okay, I need to pay attention to what's going on. How you say his name? Yokich. Yokich. That's why I just say Joe. Jo yeah. I still can't say a boy. I still can't say a boy name though. Who? Yeah, his last name. Oh yeah, I call him Greek Freak. Me too. I Greek, Greek Freak. freak. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. This is not poor minds. It's not poor minds. I'm sorry. I'm talking about. I was just like, why? Off what are you, what, what's in your cup, man? Cranberry juice. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's it. That's a little light. <laughs> y'all, y'all strict on this show. <laughs> hey, box. Who do you got? Will you be at the flight next week? It's time for you. You got to start making appearances. I'm shit. not going to lie. I went to, because we're talking about the Gervonta fight, right? No, but the what? fight coming up is Errol Spence and... Uh, Errol Spence. Okay, Jeff no, wait. Cross, cross. So, I went to my first fight. Oh, I, went to yeah. I went to the Gervonta fight. It wasn't the last one. It was the one before yeah. that in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> the line. Oh, they don't never give up no credit. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, oh, come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Baby girl, come on, baby girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Boy, fuck you. <laughs> uh, so I went to my first fight, and it was a Gervonta fight. And it was, I had the time of my life. I was highly entertained. I've seen uh, all three movies, Creed. So I feel like I can attend and know what's going on. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so who was the young man fighting? Uh, Errol Spence and uh, Crawford. Uh, they, they fight next month. There's Crawford and Spence. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I know who the first guy is. Which one? Errol. They Errol fight in Texas, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's from Texas. He's Dallas. Yeah, I, so he I know. Dallas. I know. I know who the Errol guy is. Mm -hmm. He's he's been through some things. He know how to take a hit. So I, I got my money on him. Mm. I do. Interesting take. I do. I really do. You a boxer fan, Mike? This your this, this your, is my thing. This, right your, here. this your shit. This your niche. Who you got? Damn. And give me a summarize. More summarize than that. I gotta break it down. <laughs> yeah, because. We've been waiting for this fight for a long time. Yeah. And this, it, it is. Before you answer this, uh -huh. do you see any or one of them being tanked? Those two? It's a little different. They wouldn't fight till he too small. They not in the same? Nah. Tank weigh like 108. Yeah, tank too small. Damn. Yeah, he he like a lightweight. They were two weights. They ain't gonna fight. Oh, so look, one of them will have to fight uh your boy. Who? Who just uh Haney? Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah. Haney, Haney can fight tank. Yeah. So you got, so you got, you got Haney. Yeah, break this down. I gotta learn this shit. I just want to see the good niggas who good fight each other. That's what yeah. I want to see. Get the tea hot. But that's why I like Haney though. Mm -hmm. See Haney, I like Haney because he changed the game because. That's the light skin boy, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the light skin boy Haney, he changed the game because he he old school. Like he now part of it's because he he's his own boss. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But he don't have to, like, with, with the whole different side of the street, promoters or whatever, they have a hard time fighting because the promoters don't want... Floyd fucked it up where you if you lose a fight, it's like, you're not, you know, you lose too much when you lose a fight. So mm. the promoters don't want their fighter to lose one fight. Mm. So they try not to... So, they, so the, the fighters will fight, but they don't let them fight. But see, because he is on promoter, he can fight whoever, and he fights whoever. He ain't afraid to fight nobody. Mm. Except for maybe... Stevenson, he don't want to fight Scott Stevenson. But um, to, your, to, your, to your question, Terrence Crawford is a better all-around boxer than Earl Spence. He is. Um, but Earl is the hardest body puncher in boxing. He hit 
the body harder than anybody in boxing pound for pound. And he and he got one of the top three jabs in boxing. Like Earl Spence will get the credit for his jab. His jab is like him, Devin Haney, uh, are in the top three jabs. Uh, the, the, the the problem for for Crawford is Crawford got that thing Roy Jones had where like if you challenge him to something, I'm gonna do it. Like I let's bang then. You know, but you can't do that with Earl Spence. If Crawford try to bang with Earl Spence, he gonna lose. Cause Earl Little, he's he's naturally a bigger man. So the night of the fight, he gonna be bigger than, than Crawford. Mm -hmm. But if they sit back and if they sit back out the, you know, sit back outside of the pocket and really just box, point system wise, I think Crawford gonna beat Spence. Because uh Crawford just all around with hooks, his straights, you know, he he kinda like uh He's, he has an instinct that Floyd had. Mm. Like Floyd, man, nobody could beat Floyd because of his instinct. And nobody could beat Floyd because Floyd did, didn't have that. You can't say, I bet you can't jump off the bridge and not, and, and not die. Floyd didn't go for that shit. Like with Manny Pacquiao, he knew Manny Pacquiao was on, the, on, the, on that shit. And he wouldn't fight him until he, till he took that test. <laughs> See, most fighters be like, all right, fuck it, let's just fight then. Floyd's not like that. But Crawford got that that country Roy Jones shit. And I know Roy, that's my man personally. Like, shout I, out to Roy Jones. Yeah, shout out to Roy. And that Roy, song. I, I was going to say, was he a rapper? <laughs> For a little bit. Yeah. I was talking about it. For real? Yeah. I, me and Roy, like, Roy had, my, he played you my Roy. Not you dropped the album. Yeah, I was signed to Slip and Slide, all that. But oh, Roy, not yet. Yeah. About 40 lives yeah. out here, man. When I got in trouble with Roy, Roy the one paid for my lawyer. Like, that's my big bro man, for real. Shout out to Roy Jones. Shout out to Roy, Roy, man. Roy nigga, I, man. I got that money for you, too, man. I ain't forgot about you. <laughs> he lying. I swear hey, to God. You know the hardest shit he said in that song? He said, Roy don't smoke or drink, he gets head. Hey. I said, God damn, nigga talking that shit. Now, the fact that you know the words. I was in that video. <laughs> but, what you was doing in that hey, video? Hey, I researched the bar, but we got to pull that motherfucker. Up, Mike. You see, you in there, you can see. I'm in there. I got, I got it, and it, it's, it's. I was so corny back then. Oh no! But I had. Remember, niggas had the big. Well, that's a Texas shit. The big ass belt buckles. Mm -hmm. I, I had, had my belt buckles sky like this. I was like, the I smoke. <laughs> yeah. Roy, Roy was like my. I almost got killed with Roy by Fat Joe. That's another story though. Like Roy is like Fat my. Fat Joe. Roy. Nah, nigga, you gotta tell this yeah, shit today, nigga. That's a story, not lean See, back. I, I told the story I read several times. Roy Jones and his fat Joe talked about it. I was I almost got killed with Roy. Cause I was like one of Roy, Roy was like big bro for real. Like I was around him all the time. You know what I'm saying? And he Roy taught me a lot in life, bro. Like just watching how a person that's that successful. Cause I was with Roy when he was, you know, he always would be Roy Jones. Yeah, but man. during when he was fighting, way. yeah. Like I was with him back then. Oh shit, in his prime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, and we did the music. I was on the road with him. We went on tour together. Yeah. Like, you know, he was that was a big homie. Like, still big homie. I ain't talked to him in a minute, but I still love him. Big homie forever. But you been seeing like seeing you lately, like I ain't shit? I ain't talked to him. I know you probably I know you've seen it, heard from him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you in movies, you all on the like viral videos yeah. and all that. He done seen you. He done seen you. he probably with his money. I'm gonna yeah, give him money too. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, this hey, nigga. He probably watch that nigga like, yeah, nigga, he talking about he ain't got it. <laughs> I got it now, shit, boy. Yeah, yeah, you definitely got it. He see, see the Gucci, Pooh. He see the Gucci. <laughs> 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 hey, I almost forgot. Hey, I seen Roy slap a 300-pound nigga. In my, like, see, Roy was a, see, them boxers, like, Roy is a real, they men. Like, they, they you know what I'm saying? Like, gangster. But I seen that nigga slap, I ain't gonna say dude name, but... Yeah, I'm talking about slap. It was the fastest slap I ever seen in my life, bro. It was so fast. But wait, what you said earlier about like now people don't want to fight because they want to have that flawless record. So mm -hmm. do you think that's affected it? Like the boxing game? Yeah. Like we don't get as entertaining yeah. like fights anymore. We don't get them like that. So this that's why this is such a big fight because once Devin Haney did that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like the other fighters, the fans are looking at y'all like, man, what the fuck, what y'all got going on? Yeah. So now they, they, they only the promoters like, nah, fuck that, make this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? And these are the best two, like Earl Spence and, and Terrence Crawford, this is gonna be the fight of, as far as anticipation is concerned, in like the last, I wanna say like 20 years. 20, I'm going. Like, yeah, like this, remember back when like, well I say at least 10, for sure 10 years, that's the biggest fight in 10 years. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, because don't nobody really know, you know what I'm saying? Now, I will say this. The thing that scared me for Earl is that car accident that you was talking about earlier. That's what I said. He done took some hits, man. But when I seen him he fight, got out the car. Did you see that car? But he ain't the same, though. He ain't the same. That's now, what, see, he knew what I... See? Before that car accident... <laughs> now, I'm going to say this. Terrence Crawford was not calling out Earl Spence at, before that car accident. Oh. But what happened was, they was talking shit, but it wasn't like yeah, this. Yeah, like they wasn't no, let's get it done. But when shit. he fought Danny Garcia, when he came back, he whooped Danny Garcia's ass. But when you watch that fight, you see his footwork. You know what I'm saying? You, that's not going to work against Terrence Crawford. That was his first fight back, though. His, it was something off. Like, the fans like, oh, he beat his ass, but Terrence Crawford like, oh, his footwork off a little bit. You can't, you got to be perfect to beat Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is, you can't go in there with no slew foot. Who your favorite boxer of all time? All time? It's biased to say Roy, so I, I'm not going to pick Roy. Uh, I think the best fighter of all time is Floyd Mayweather. He ain't my fa- and He ain't my favorite champion. My favorite champion of all time is Muhammad Ali. Oh, facts. Because Muhammad Ali was a champion outside and inside the ring. Like, he was a champion when black people couldn't even. Yeah, you know what I mean? Man, they be showing his interviews. He'd get on there and talk, talk that shit. Talk that shit. And then his daughter was like that, too. Yeah, Layla. She was giving the same Layla, Layla, Layla. energy. Man. Same energy. He was his life in interviews. Yeah. He was talking, he, like, yeah. I, I watch the interview. If you watch this shit now, I cringe. Like, yo, this nigga was like. Oh, and yeah. not only that, you gotta look at it. this is during a time where it was just like the racial tensions was yes. high. He'll be standing right there, the white, the white yes. interview. He's There's talking documentaries about of Man. these black people who were doing a lot, and guess who's standing right there? Muhammad mm-hmm. standing right there doing all that stuff. So. He look him in the eyes. Yeah. Right, man, I don't care nobody. I'm like, yeah. damn. Yeah. He get it shaking the head and pouring out. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. shit man, mama. you know, I watch um, Godfather of Harlem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't know, like, you know what I'm saying? They was, like, you know. They all knew each other. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. They was, it was it's mixy. Like now. <laughs> like, now, you like, the boxers know the right. that messy? No, I'm not saying messy, but they knew the tea, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad knew. He had a lot of secrets. They knew the tea. They knew the tea. They did. Y'all be thinking that it's just a wimp. No, niggas be having the most tea ever. Just like you talking about how now, I'm telling you, the niggas, they Can got all the tea. call it soda? No, it's tea and it's hot. I don't got high. no tea. But it's, it's still the same way. It's just a little different now because how social media mm-hmm. is. Ain't nothing changed. It was more secretive back then. Like, the celebrities, like, hung together. Like, Rick yeah. James, Eddie Murphy. They knew these stories. Yeah. And, and the fans, we, we, we like this in the outside looking in. Nowadays, motherfucker be online like, yeah, motherfucker, you cheated on me. Fuck you. You you fuck what's the name? He, he be back in there. Going, like, that shit kind of... But just like you said Weird. earlier, when you were like talking about, like you were being funny, like talking about the athletes coming to Atlanta and like Quavo and all them. But that's how they used to do it. Mm-hmm. They really used to be like, oh, come hang out with me. Yeah. You know, because Hammer used to have everybody outside. Who? MC yeah, Hammer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I heard, so they said MC Hammer was a real ass nigga. He had nigga everybody too. outside. Oh, yeah. He had the killers with him. Yeah. yeah. They were talking about that. Yeah. He from Oakland, man. He from Oakland, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, they said they said that, that, that young Atlanta nigga Marco, Marco like that shit. Marco said he had that MC Hammer for real. Hey, I'm telling you. They said Suge went try because because we had Witty. Mm-hmm. They said Suge Knight never tried to him because they're like shit. Don't let them pants fool you, nigga. He got these niggas from town with him. Bro, niggas don't know this, bro. I would never like even in clubs when I used to go to clubs and shit coming up of age. I never would try a nigga who be out there dancing. Any nigga, oh, the dancing niggas be the yeah, worst. Any nigga, any nigga who tick all night and be doing all the dance, I never fuck with them. Nigga, you got too much energy. You done dance five straight so the bitch, I know I ain't got enough wind to fight you. I told my partner when I said, leave that nigga the fuck alone. He said, no, that nigga keep stepping on my shoe. Well, you back the fuck up. <laughs> Move out his way. Get out his way. Let the nigga dance. You in his way. You not dance. Let that nigga dance. This the dance floor. We supposed to be back. <laughs> I started resolving the issue. <laughs> Man, I'm talking about the nigga sweating. I can tell you, he must. That nigga, they 
give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Because you know you can't be musty allegations. You cannot, as a black person, if you musty once, you, you musty, musty forever. forever. So musty the fact that you out there dancing and you know you musty and you still dancing. Man, anytime a nigga dance, he go to taking his shirt off. Oh, that nigga stink. That nigga done got stink in that bitch. And don't walk Bob and make a face. Cause he, he finna be like, what's up? Like, yeah, I don't want no, no yeah, smoke. Yeah, crazy, man. Talking That's about, true, like, you ever, you ever, uh, like, when you said you fought, like, briefly, mm. was it was it a bad loss, though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, yeah. I well, thought you were going to say something different. <laughs> no, nah, I'm going to give it 1,000 because people was there. Yeah. Was oh, sorry. my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we watching. Mark, you lying. No, I'm like, <laughs> Your boo was there at the time? No, nah, she was not that one. Oh, Lord. Not the one, so... So I got it. I tell you, I tell the story. Mm-hmm. I got in the fight because I found out I didn't know how to fight for real. It was his brother's name. I ain't gonna say his name. I told you earlier his name, but I thought I could fight because I used to knock people out all the time. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why is because my mama, she raised me like, don't let nobody hit you first. You know, most people say somebody hit you, hit them back. Yeah. My mama always say the first hit might be the last. Mm, that's smart. That so, is facts. So I never, you know what I'm saying? So I knew. It was a, I'm finna hit this motherfucker. And I, and I would hit him, and I was, you know, I was heavy handed. They go to sleep. So I thought I could fight. So this, this dude, we had a, um, a block party. So I, was, you know, I had a little nickname and shit. You know, I was, I was that nigga. What you know your what nickname was? I won't, I won't say it. I'm about to cry. What are you gonna make a nigga relapse? Hell right. yeah. <laughs> And they might start whooping ass. Leave that shit alone. Back my chair up. <laughs> Niggas just start swinging out the blue. Oh, it was, nigga, it I was Slim Loke. I got, I got this. I had to erase it. Slim Loke. Slim Loke. I was skinny, but oh, I was. Oh, all right. Loco. Uh, Loco. Loco. Loco was good back then. Damn. Chill out, bro. Chill. Damn. Hey, this sound like one of them CET movies. Oh shit, what we gonna do? They gonna slim low. <laughs> <laughs> one of them time of fair plays. <laughs> you know like you know like a family matter when Eddie Winlow don't mess with the wrong guy. <laughs> Mom, it was slim low. <laughs> <laughs> he got a leather jacket on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> now Carl got to talk to Slim Low. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the school. Why well, I tell you all that, man? I'm sorry. Okay, so right, Slim Low. We all subject, my man. What you did, man. Slim Low? <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I could fight, right? Mm. So it was a dude. I didn't know he was a professional boxer. Mm. And he was my neighbor, and I used to, I used to, I used to fuck with him. It was, I was in the wrong, 100%. Mm-hmm. I used to bam on his door at night. You know, we'd be drunk and shit, and nigga not. And I do my DMX shit, but like, what you want to do? And that's what I said. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, I used to do that. So one day, for some reason, and let me tell y'all something. When people run, when people go running at four o'clock in the morning. Don't fuck with them people. <laughs> like, leave them alone. They train them or something. They train them or something. <laughs> what? But you know, you young, you Anything. ain't thinking like that. You like, oh, this nigga, he lame. We, we kicking it, he lame. So for some reason, we had a block party, you know what I'm saying? And me and my guy, we was them, we was them niggas, you know what I'm saying? We was kicking and talking shit, had all the girls out there and shit. So he came out, he was mad about the night before. And he came out and confronted me in front of everybody. And he talked like he, he talked very proper. He's like, hey man, you keep fucking with me. I said, and what, motherfucker? What you gonna do? I said, man, I will slap the shit out of you out here, boy. <laughs> and he was like, let's see how that works out for you. <laughs> so I was like, man, hold my beard, man. I give Did he say pal? It's giving pal. Yeah, he's a pal. Yeah. Okay, because if somebody say, say pal, run. He didn't say pal, but the energy was definitely palish. Okay. <laughs> So his his guy came out, the, out his apartment was like, yo, hold on, y'all put the gloves on, fight like men. So in my head, see, I'm young, I'm not thinking why he got boxing gloves in the house. I ain't thinking that. <laughs> because what? I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna be another another story of Mike knocking the motherfucker out. And this is the girls out here, we can invite some girls from the club out here. I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. Yeah. And he was smaller than me, you know, I was like, hey, he a little nigga, I'm, I'm gonna take it easy and just pop it at the end. <laughs> So when I put my gloves on, I'm like doing the teeth thing, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I look over and he take his shirt off. And I'm like, 
Nigga, where did the muscles come from? <laughs> he was so cut. You know, oh like the, my God, you know yeah. the bubble six pack? The grit. He had the <laughs> grit. Not the grit. <laughs> nigga had the grit. I was like, God damn. But I had to keep myself going. Because yeah. I was like, nah, I weigh more than him. There's no way that, that don't mean nothing. It's just muscles, you know what I oh mean? Oh my God. And then, and one thing about a, a trained fighter, they go into a different zone, like an actor. You know, they go into a different zone, they about to fight. So when I, as I'm walking to the street and everybody like laughing, I'm finna whoop his ass, I look in his eyes. And that nigga looked at me, bro. I never had nobody in their life to this day look at me like this. Like that man wanted me, man. He wanted to fight. <laughs> he like, couldn't he was wait. Looking, he, could, he was gone, it was like. Like you fell into his trap. Man, like, yes. thank you. I've been waiting. Finally, nigga. I would hope that somebody would be like, come on, Mike, don't do it. Like, like, you know, like, uh, it's like the time and place, Mike. It's like the time and place, man. <laughs> they were like, get me, Mike. They were like, all right, man. Slim low, chill, slim, slim low. low. Chill, come, don't do it, come, slim. Let him live, slim low. Please, low, no. <laughs> slim low was like this. All right, man. So I get out there. We got the gloves on, and then his stance was different. Like, I see his calves was like popping and shit. We, oh, I'm Lord. like, shit, you know what I'm saying? And my stance was, all I had was the right punch. Yeah. So he wasn't standing still for me to hit him with the motherfucker. I'm like, damn, this nigga won't let me hit him. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? and then nigga throwing jabs and, and, and weaving, it. and then that nigga punched me in that body, boy. Regular people don't punch in the body. Mm. Yeah. You just need I mean, to go to the face. Yeah, he's like a face head. Yeah. Kind of the body, when y'all watching boxing and them body shots, like you ever play football or, or like hit the ground, your back, and the wind, you lose the wind, yeah. and you can't breathe, that happened. He hit me so hard, I was like, <gasps> and I was trying to get away from him. <laughs> I was oh like, my God. Nigga. And I was trying to look cool, but you can't look cool when you can't breathe. You were scared all the hoes. I'm letting like, you know right now, they was terrified. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Slim low out here fucking bitch. This nigga about to knock Slim low out, bitch. So you lost your, lost your wind and your bro. That nigga hit me with a... So the worst punch ever is the one you don't see. That's the one you ever see somebody get knocked out. It's, it, if you see it coming, naturally your body can... Brace it. Like, you can brace. You, know you can roll it. Yeah. You know, but a trained person going to roll it. But a regular person and myself at that time, you still can see it so you can brace like a car accident. Man, I still don't remember. What, I don't know what hand it was yeah. to this day. I heard someone go, thump. Oh, Lord. And the crowd said, oh. I'm like, somebody got dunked on. I'm looking for the basketball rim. Like, who, <laughs> who happened? Who oh, my God. Good? In my eyes, when you get knocked out, the side, of your, you, your eyes close from the side. It don't come from, so it's, it's almost like. Bro, I know you're not lying. You too Cause I'm like, <laughs> this nigga said, I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. You ever like swim, you ever be like, when it's like cloudy? No, nigga, no. <laughs> that shit was closing in. I'm like, I ain't know I had eyelids on the side. And then. Where did he my, hit you at? I don't, you don't I, know. I don't, you still don't I know. I just heard it. It was like goon. I and didn't you, feel it. Till this day, you still Till this day, I didn't see it or feel it. So then my boy was like this, coming to me like, in slow motion, like, bro, that's enough. That's that's no. So then I try to act like, you know, I, I couldn't go out for everybody. I said, man, take these gloves. We're going to fight for real. He's like, boy. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> if he hit you like that on the gloves, without man, the gloves, you ain't going to make it. So then I, you know, I fake like I wanted to fight. You know, you like to get hold me back shit. So my man, he looked out, he held me back. <laughs> he got eye contact. Slim, chill, I'm like, man, let me go. You know, you know how I get you. I know, Mike. Come on. Oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, that was clowning your ass. Oh please. They won't call you Slim. They don't know. Hey, Mike. Mike now. Mike now. Mike, 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 Mike. That nigga went to Michael. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> we got in the house. And I was just in the house, and I was waiting for somebody to be like, it wasn't that bad, dog, you know. And nobody said that. Yeah. It was so quiet in the house, I, just, I was just like, man, how bad that shit look for real? Just be like, and my, oh boy, my, my boy like, man, that shit like domestic violence, bro. <gasps> domestic? He said, man, that nigga know something, man. Like, he he, that wasn't regular. So I felt, I, after that, we got cool. I bet you did something, bro. Big bro. My boy. My boy. 
You hungry, bro? <laughs> big homie, I just came to check on you, big bro. Give me some of that kitchen, though. Number love, big bro. I'm that type of person. Hey. Teach me. Hey, sign my gloves, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So I learned how to Social sign media that. was out there. Hell, I'd have been over with. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's what made me learn how to fight him because when we got cool, he taught me, like, he's like 90, 98% of the world don't really know how to fight for real. And, uh, you know, I let him get one of my little chicks and everything. <laughs> you let him? She was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with him. Yeah, go on with him, man. Shit. That I made more sense. That made more sense. Make sure he I am so weak. You look out with big bro. Now, have you gotten a fight before? Hell yeah. You How won? I done, I done fought a lot of times. I done lost anyone. Okay. Yeah. But the time, um, <laughs> why you say okay like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you this, this. Now, this one time, I got them, I got jumped. So, um, we had a club. So, you know, the niggas who I came with, we are, we having fun type shit. A girl, like, she kept, like, you know, brushing up against them. I'm like, hey, watch where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit. So when I told her that, she was like, okay. So one time she do it again, I'm like, hey, you drunk. You need to chill out. But she go tell the nigga that she with. So you know how you can see somebody coming? I see the nigga come. I'm like, this nigga look like he finna hit me. <laughs> boom, boom. Hit him. Not two times. Oh. So then we go to the ground, but they break it up. That's when my homeboys were there. So they break it up. They were like, no, no, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is around college time. So like, no, no, you know what I'm saying? Everybody cool. Woo -woo. So they break out. I'm like, yeah, man, that nigga was tripping. But I had the ups, cause shit, I hit his ass so <laughs> I'm in that chilling and shit. <laughs> oh. So goddamn, I look up later, but about like 20 minutes go by. Now is I see this nigga come, but he got three more niggas with him. Yeah, we ain't done. Like, look, I said, what the fuck these niggas went? <laughs> It's just me right now. <laughs> man, them niggas done came over there, them niggas getting on my ass. <laughs> and where are your friends? I, I still don't know to the day where them niggas went. <laughs> so look, I got them, uh, I end up on the ground. Cause what I'm trying to do, trying to slam one of the niggas, I don't know why, but the niggas push me down to the ground. Long story short. I'm getting up. This one I knew it bad. A girl say, baby, stay down. <laughs> cause I kept, cause you know in a fight, you never want right. to be on the ground. Yeah. But I knew they were these niggas first time jumping somebody. Because they ain't kick me on my head or nothing. These niggas kicking me on my ass. I said, oh, these niggas. Uh, and you got some cushion back Yeah, I said, oh, shut up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, god damn it. I'm sorry. I'm... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It was 14 years ago, motherfucker. I was 100 pounds ago. 100 pounds ago. So look. <laughs> so then I was like, I got to leave. So I... Me, you know what I mean? I, I caught back. I hit one of them niggas before I'm leaving out the club. <laughs> Childish. Bro, yes, but this ain't... Out of all that, I didn't feel none of that shit. One of the girls that was with them, I'm walking out. She's standing at the fucking door. Boom! <laughs> hit me in my head. Man, I held my head the whole way home. <laughs> Man, you know, I look back at that bitch like this. <laughs> and kept going. I think she would have whooped my ass one on one. Now, if you know what's crazy about that? If you seen that hoe right now, you will remember her face. Then she Nigga, goes. what? <laughs> Nigga, I said, that bitch hit harder than them niggas. <laughs> Bro, I held that motherfucker. Shit, that bitch might be in here now. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I don't want, but I don't want no smoke. I'm glad that you brought this up because this actually leads something that I want to ask y'all because you said. She was bumping into you when she called her homeboy. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think about this Travis Randolph case? The guy, the football player, he used to play football. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, him and his girl. Oh, uh, she called the. Uh, and she called the boys yeah. over there, and he ended up shooting at him and killed one of the dudes. And mind you, this woman was married. Mm. She was married, but they were in a relationship. I think this case is so crazy because. They pulled up on him, mm -hmm. and he was defending he had himself. himself so yeah. Now the only thing that they're saying is because he was like chasing down the street, and they was driving the car away. But at this point, I don't, I don't know where you're going. You could be going get something to come back. Yeah. Cause you know what I'm saying. But this, this is my only thing. Like in relationships and stuff like that. That's why, like sometimes as men, we got we know what goes on in relationship with women. Sometimes we just gotta. 
use the right instinct. If if that man not beating on you and you know what I'm saying, something like that, then I'm, I, if y'all on a, a dispute, you mad at him at the moment, right. I can't come over there and have your back. Because right. as a man, he going to feel tried. And now them just tempers. Now, whatever we done did, say I go to jail, now you back with the nigga. And, and she, I'm not gonna say she lied though. Yeah, of course. She, she straight up lied. Yeah, was she was beating player. his ass. Everything on the ring he camera. Football? He played football. But well, that's the thing. If he played football, just call the police. Don't call me. Because <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers are crazy. I don't think he played that that long though, but either way it goes. He was in college, wasn't he? No, he actually was in the league, what but his position. Uh, I think he was like a receipt. Like he was on offense. He wasn't oh, like yeah, no big, big nigga. nigga. Yeah, he wasn't no big nigga. nigga. Like they honestly looked like they were about the same size. She was, you know. She, he worked out every day. Yeah, I mean, right. but that's what I'm saying. In the video, she was hit beating his ass, and he was just kind of like. But yeah, he wanted to go to the. You married. He's so married. I already know what she probably was saying to him. You fuck such and such, bitch. You married. Yeah. I'm a no, bitch now. No, <laughs> he didn't know she was married. Oh, he didn't know. She got on the stand oh, and she damn. was no. That they asked her, she was like, "Aren't you married?" She was like, "Yeah." She was like, "Did you tell him that you were married?" She was like, "No," because he didn't ask. What? And that had nothing to do with what we had going on. Man, hey, no. Nah. And her, and her, and all honesty, I'm with her on that. Sometimes these women hey. don't ask shit. <laughs> women, <Come. hey. laughs> yeah. they you gotta ask. Now, green. <laughs> you gotta ask. <laughs> You ain't tell me you had a family, bitch. You didn't ask me that. You said I was a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> you were drinking dog, Julio, damn. You said I was a vibe. I was a vibe. But I will yeah. say, as a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, you you done got me now. Hey. He a vibe. He a vibe. Hey. But no, I do feel like this. When you're dealing with a man, like you said, unless they're beating your ass and you really feel like I have to call somebody to help me, mm-hmm. stop doing stuff out of anger. Yeah. Somebody died. And I yeah. too. Lost their life because you playing mm-hmm. and you yeah. being toxic. Like you have to know. I feel like a lot of times people don't want to take accountability. Yeah. So um, yeah. I just thought that case was crazy. No, nah, no, nah, we needed to know that. That's why we glad. Damn, you put yeah, you put up shit. I'm going to jail then because Pulling up on me, the three niggas, I'm shooting. Yeah, he shoot. He, hey, that's what he did. I'm shooting that one nigga. I don't know what you got, because they don't fight no more anyway. Yeah. I done figured it out. Three done came? Y'all, either y'all came to do something to me, or y'all y'all didn't come to get her. Yeah. Because she should be exactly. out that way on y'all. Because you would think they would just come to grab hey, man, her. Girl, bring up, leave them the fuck alone. Right. Yeah. But y'all right. came to make an example out of me. They did. And, uh, and you should see how them niggas acting on the stand. Like victims. They're like, oh my God, they pulled up. Oh, we got to put some of this in there. See, that's why we needed Lex P on the show. We would never got this information. We'll I'm in, telling yeah, you. Yeah, we don't get into that messy shit. Oh, oh, it's, it's, yes, y'all do, because this is how I know. <laughs> the niggas right. was retweeting on my timeline. <laughs> I said, hold on, wait a on minute. The, game. the sports TV hot. Shut your ass. It's like like it's tea. Tea. It, uh, it was tea, because even I got some golf news. That's not tea, that's crime. <laughs> what, what, what's your golf news? So basically, Say your golf news and we getting out of here. Okay, I just got some golf news okay. real quick. So Saudi Arabia has started a professional team. Mm-hmm. They tried to sign Tiger Woods a while back. They were trying to give him a percentage of the whole company, a percentage of every deal they signed. Damn. And PGA turned around and was like, no. Tiger, you need to go tell them no. You need to denounce them publicly and blah, blah, blah. They turned around and offered PGA some money. They were like, welcome. <laughs> welcome. It's true. So they just yeah. announced that yeah, they have they're a partners. deal with the, their partners now. After they told Tiger to tell them so no. So Tiger didn't get the money. Tiger didn't get the money. Tiger, you better sue the team. The other players that sell Tiger. Yeah, other players took the money. They was, paying, they was overpaying them just so they could make the league popular. Tiger, you dumb motherfucker. Live, God. Per usual. Yeah, That's a dumb motherfucker there. Always. He always fucking up. You let them play you again? Yeah. Again? Again. Damn, After they man. let you back in? <laughs> oh, you don't know yourself, though. You gonna play yourself. Yeah. Tiger don't think he a nigga, so... He gonna always fuck himself up. And that's why we don't give a fuck. Saudi Arabia keep killing these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Financially. Oh, uh, but that being said, I'm glad y'all came through, man. Shout out to our guests for the week, man. Woo! Next week, and Mike Bless. 
Hey, Man, y'all, can I do good with my sports song? Man, y'all niggas was very entertaining. <laughs> I don't know if we tackled too much of sports, but, <laughs> but it was very entertaining. We tackled y'all some. Fun. Y'all had fun today? Yeah. 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 Hey, look around. You see everybody, they wanted to yeah. dress up? Yeah. They happy, man. <laughs> hey. Tune in next week for Broken Play, and we back next week. But we definitely had fun this week. Shout out to Broken Play. Yeah.